Howdy, everyone. What What's up with you guys? Not that anyone's here right now, because I literally just started. Um... Welcome to the New Year's Eve stream. It's currently 8 past 8 in my time zone. This stream, unless no one hops on, otherwise this stream is gonna go on until midnight. We're gonna have ourselves a fun old time tonight. Um... So yeah, on the menu tonight is Epic Battle Fantasy V, but... F oh, hello there, Reap. So you were able to join for a little bit, okay. So, um, tonight on the menu is Epic Battle Fantasy V, but before that, we're going to be playing some Pokemon Black 2. But this isn't just any old run of Pokemon Black 2, as Reap, you probably already know. This is going to be a mono ghost type run. And I accidentally made all my Pokemon that can have gender female. I didn't realize. Hopefully that isn't a problem. Hopefully there is no attract spamming like there is in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Which, by the way, was the original game where I planned to do this. But then I decided Black Toon Way 2 would offer more Pokemon selection, less HM usage, just an overall better time for this kind of challenge. As for Black 2 over Black. Uh, since there's more Pokedex Pokemon in this game, I figured items like the Magmarizer and the Electorizer, which, by the way, I learned are version exclusive. Um, ah, okay. Um, I figured those items would be available, which, okay, let me explain the rules of this run real quick. First of all, I'm using all ghost types. Uh, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this with every type, but don't count on it because that's 17 runs of the same game And I don't know if I want to do that But we're gonna get as far as we can with it. So for now, we're doing all ghost types Um, and I am aware that's a heart gold soul silver badge up there. I don't care Heart gold soul silver has 16 of the 17 types in this game in terms of badges. I don't know what I'll do about dark. We'll see anyways The rules are simple if I can remember them, that is. So, I'm going to be using PK Hex to evolve Pokemon that evolve via trades, such as Ghastly here. Um, or at least, or once evolved into Haunter, to evolve into Gengar. But if a Pokemon requires... I, I, I still need to... Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll do it for the Electric-type run if I decide I want to use Electivire. I haven't fully decided on all the teams yet. Um... So, I need to evolve Pokemon naturally, which means for Lampent, once we evolve Litwick, I'm going to need to find a Dusk Zone naturally. Um, I can't hack one in. I can hack in Trade Evos, but if they require an item such as Seedra and the Kingdra, I'll need their respective item for that. Um... Which, by the way, I don't think I'm going to be using Kingdra in my Water or Dragon runs because Vic or, um, Dragon Scale isn't found until Victory Road, apparently. So, you know. Um, I feel like there were other rules I had put in place. I can't remember them at the moment. But, like, the Pokemon don't need to be in the Pokedex. The regional Pokedex, as you can see from Ghastly and Spiritomb here. Um, but yeah, I do need to be able to evolve the Pokemon naturally, and I would like to have a fully evolved team by the end of the game, so no Scyther. Even though Scyther is just as good as Caesar in terms of BST. Um. Reap, can you remember any of the other rules I set for this? Because I can't. But I think... Okay. So they're all starting off at level 5, even though I... I already played through just to get our starter, just to ensure I didn't mess anything up. By the way, I think I did mess something up, because originally, all the sprites except for Ghastly in the status screen were facing as if they were in battle. Um... So yeah, they're starting off at level 5, instead of level 6 like our Snivy was. Um, after we defeated... I did choose Snivy so that I face off M against Embor. With our rival. That might make the fights a little easier since it's a firefighting type, more weaknesses. Um, that won't really make. Well, it might make 
our ghost type run a little bit easier since we've got ghost types for the fighting type, but it won't make it too much easier in the ghost run. Um, yeah, I played a little bit of it just to ensure I wouldn't mess up anything in the game. But we have just done the tutorial. Like, we all, all I did on my own was picking our starter, replacing our starter with the ghost types in PK Hex, and doing the catching tutorial. That's, I literally, I only went into the grass for one wild battle just to flee, just to see if it messed, or if it fixed the messed up sprites in the status screen. So... Besides that, we have not done anything yet. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, another rule is that I can use Pokemon that don't match the types, but they have to match the type by the end of the game. So like, again, with uh, using Seedra as an example again, I can use Seedra in the Dragon Run since they'll eventually evolve into Kingdra, Water Dragon type instead of just Water type. That's not coming into play this time around. All of our guys are ghost types from the start, and they will stay ghost types throughout the end of the game. I have optimized natures, but I have randomized IVs. All these Pokemon have random IVs. Ghastly, I think Ghastly has really good IVs, though. Like, it's got, like, consistent 20s across the board. Oh, yes. That, thank you, Reap. I somehow forgot all about that. So, Gas Gengar. I cannot use Gengar on both the Ghost Team and the Poison Team. I need to do one or the other. Um, which makes choosing some of these teams pretty tough. Now, I have not planned out all the teams yet, but I wanted to get started on this tonight. Um, oh yeah, and no Legends. Yeah, no Legends either, obviously. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I covered everything else. Um... So yeah, I was originally planning on doing this for Heart Gold, but that was not only was that really limiting, like you can't use any stone evos without farming. Like without hoping to god you get lucky from like a gift, like the leaf stone from Gina. Uh you don't there are no stone evolutions unless you do Poke Athlon, which is near impossible for me. As much as I love Poke Athlon, it's near impossible right here. So Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, Reap, let me know something for me, okay? When you send a message, let me know if it pops up on stream right away. I've been trying out this new low latency option. Uh, well, not new, but I just discovered it the other night. So let me know if your messages still have that delay or if they're still, or if they're, um, do they pop up right away? Like, they're popping up right away for me, but I think it's always done that for me. So let me know if there's a delay, like there usually is. I, I I'm trying low latency. I think I'm trying. I think I've got it on. Um. So yeah. Anyway, with with no further delay, let's get started. Pennant run. Oh yeah, that one's pretty bad. I. What what's the one called with the soccer? The four way soccer. That that one I hate. Goal roll, something like that. I don't know why. I just hate that one. I was never that good at it. It's tough. Okay. I guess there is a bit of a delay still. Okay. So that clearly didn't work. Alright. That's fine. I, I, at the very least, you shouldn't have a different experience than usual. Because before, it was like a 20... Oh, is that what's called skill shot? I thought it was called goal roll. Okay, yeah. Here's a potion. We've got two of them, by the way. Because we... Oh, that was a weird glitch. You see that in the top there? I just realized, how are we going to gain the XP? I just realized, um, our Pokemon won't be able to gain EXP for a while. Some of them. Because, well, okay, there are Purloins. Oh yeah, Snowball one's pretty bad too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Frillish, Spiritomb, and Litwick are fine. 
Golet is fine, but Ghastly? A Drifloon's fine because of Constrict, but that's gonna be tough. I should have put in an experience share and just said I can't use. When do you get the EXP share in this game? I don't remember. Um, if it's late enough, I might just hack one in and just say I can't use the other one. That you get. Like, I might hack one in and just say you can't use the one you naturally get. I think you get in Castellia, though, don't you? So that's not too far off. Or maybe that's black and white. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, Ghost Type Run might be a little tough to start off with, actually. Well, technically, it's Astonish, but Astonish doesn't do shit against normal types. Technically, Minimize is our best move. I mean, raising evasiveness, that's broken. Alright, let's, let's move on. And by the way, I will be using speed up functions, so... Oh right, these guys, some of these trainers have the monkeys, don't they? <laughs> yeah, like there's like we're gonna see any of those famous last words. <laughs> Alright, um We actually don't need to heal, do we? I think we should go All right, um, okay, I think there are some, hmm, I think, I think Litwick's our best bet to start off with here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Ghost runs are always interesting because early game at least. Because of all the normal types. Like, look at this. Patrat. Gen 5 kind of spiced it up a bit with Purloin, which will actually make this a lot tougher because it's a dark type, but... Oh, these Patrats get bite too, don't they? I don't know what level, but they get it. Um... They get it at some point. That's going to make things a little bit tougher. Pretty interesting, though. Oh, come on. You get two of them, Reap? I thought you only got the one. Okay, that's cool. So you get three in black, two in white, too? Jeez, that's kind of overkill. Is it? Is it? Okay, good. That's the low latency. That's the low latency that I, um, that I turned on. But it might, it might mess with you a bit, because... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even really know what latency is, so... Oh boy. Purloin. So does Purloin just have good special defense? Because I thought it didn't. But then again, my Litwick's special attack IV is like 4. So... That's not that good. I guess I should focus on another Pokemon too. 
Fire Spin. What's his power again? I'm not gonna learn it, but. Definitely not gonna learn it. Although it might be useful if Litwick somehow goes down. Yeah, I guess my IVs just suck then. Yeah. Give up on Fire Spin. Because I think Ember is like 40 power, right? Has higher accuracy too. Like, doesn't this guy have a Sawaddle? I feel like this guy has a Sawaddle. Nope, it's a Patrat. All right, let's uh Let's get in Let's get in goal it. Oh no, I forgot about this. Oh no. Oh jeez, I forgot about this fight. I haven't played Black 2 in a very long time in case that wasn't obvious. Oh, he's only got a Tepic? I thought he had two by this point. Level 8, oh no. <laughs> oh Jesus. I think I'll use one more to lower its accuracy. Because I don't know if this thing has Ember yet. It might. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to take fucking forever. I, I'm both glad and regret that I started off with Ghost. <laughs> uh. I thought you had Ember by this point, but I guess not. Not that I need HP. Why didn't he use Ember then? <laughs> the AI is just that shitty. Okay. Oh no, it gets Odor Sleuth? Oh no! Oh, that's not a good. Ah, oh, I should have. Damn, I should not have made his Pokemon Tepic. Okay. Um. Alright, we need. We need to spread the love here. We need to spread out levels. Maybe not Spiritomb right away, though, because Spiritomb's kind of powerful for this point in the game. Hey, on a mono ghost run, it's. it's. It's something to worry about. Let's 
So does Odor Sleuth just make ghosts hittable by normal fighting type attacks, or does it make them super effective? Not taking any other types into consideration, like Spiritomb's Dark. It's just normal damage, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, I just wanted to make sure. Like, if you use a fighting type move on Spiritomb afterwards, then yeah, that would be super effective because of the dark, but... I just realized, I- oh wait, no, I do have a flyer. I think Driftblim can learn fly, right? And Frillish can almost certainly learn surf. Because I realize there are still HMs in this game that, like, are required. Yeah, I knew that about the evasion. So Frillish can learn surf and Driftblim can learn fly. Those are the big two that I'm worried about. I'm worried I won't be able to get every team with a flyer and a surfer, so. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, in case it wasn't obvious, this playthrough is going to take a while. Driftblim gets fly, yeah. It did in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, at least. I made sure to check on that, because I was originally going to use it in my Ghost Mono run there. Before I decided to switch over to Black 2. I can't imagine why they would get rid of it for this game. So. Please level up. Thank you. Oh, barely! Holy crap. Ah, fuck. Why did I do that? Any types you're concerned about as far as HMs go? Um, well, I'll tell you one I'm not concerned about. Water and flying. <laughs> but, uh, seriously. Um, probably won't have a surfer for fire types. Might not have a flyer for bug types either. But that depends on if Yen Mega can learn it. Oh no. But I've got Yen Mega on the bug team, I think. I don't think he can learn fly, because I remember being like, why well, can't learn fly? It's a flying type. But I might be thinking of a different Pokemon, a different bug flying type, because, you know, there's only a million of them. Oh no. Okay, good. Alright, it should be fine at this point. Well, technically, Arceus is a normal type. Just saying. Uh, string shot. I know it just used assist, but I didn't. Okay, she must have Sawaddle then. That's her second. It's gotta be Sawaddle. Yep, it's Sawaddle. As much as I don't want to overpower Litwick at this point in the game, this is gonna be too easy. This is too easy. I hate how all of my Pokemon sounds come out of my left headphone. Because I kind of have that off right now so I can monitor my volume. Which means I can barely hear stuff from my side. Ah, yeah, Mega does not learn fly. I was considering, I really wanted to use Volcarona. But I figure it evolves to level or Larvesta evolves to level 59, which is a little bit too late for me. Like, it that's a bit too late for me. I mean, I think uh, assuming you're playing on normal mode, which I am, instead of easier challenge mode, I think the champion's main Pokemon is level 59, which means. Like, you're expected to be around that level for that fight, but. 
That means I won't get Volcarona until the very end of the game. Which, by the way, I'm pretty sure Larvesta can't learn fly, so... Kind of defeats the purpose. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm at... I mean... I think this was another rule I made, and if it wasn't, then I'm going to make it now. I can use HM Slaves, I just... If it comes down to using them in battle, I've already lost. And I will swap them out as off... Uh, like... For HM Slaves, I'll only put them in my party when I know I'm going to need them. And in the case of a flyer, it'll only be like... When I... I'll be near Pokemon Center anyway, because I'll need to fly from one Pokemon Center to another. If that makes sense. I know you don't need to be at a Pokemon Center to fly, but like... I'll be right outside the Pokemon Center get after getting it from my box. So I'll basically be flying from one center to another. Alright, um... Wait, wasn't... No, Frillish was not close to leveling up. That was, that was Golet. What are you doing in your runs? That, I could do that. Like, my thing is that, um, like, I would, uh, yeah, yeah, wild battle would be preferable, but, um, because if I try and use it in a big battle, and have them faint first to get out of the way. The the gym like in a gym fight or something, they might buff themselves first and and before knocking me out, and then I'm in trouble. So, special like Sharon, I think uses work up, so that wouldn't be a good trip. Not that I'd have HMs at that point, but you know, you know what I mean. All right, um, one of these guys has. I think one of these trainers has, um, oh, cool, Mary. Not that I can use it. <laughs> one of these trainers has. Psyduck. That's what I was trying to say. I think one of these trainers has Psyduck. I seem to remember that. So, I should watch out with Golet and Litwick here. <laughs> yeah, since capturing doesn't get you EXP yet, might as well not even bother unless they need an HM slave. Alright, so goal it's leveled up to seven. Uh th it's gonna be a nightmare getting ghastly caught up. I might have to do the old switcheroo strategy there. But even that'll take forever. Fortunately I've got speed up functions, but cool, paralyze heal. It's nice after facing that Mary, not that I got paralyzed, but. Of course I run a new normal type. Of course. Alright, it's time to use speed hacks. Because I'm not sitting through all this at normal speed. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I. Well, what egg moves would Ghastly get that could help? I guess it'd probably get a poison type move. Oh, my God. Only 20? Oh, it gets the punches? Ghastly? Ghastly gets the punches? How the fuck can this thing punch? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wooper gets ice. But I never knew this. I never knew this. Holy shit. That's crazy. Um, well, I gave my ghastly a modest nature anyway, so that probably wouldn't be the best idea. Putting the punches on it, because it's, I mean, it'd be better than what I've got now, but still be pretty weak. Oh, wait, I meant to check. Okay, so it needs 24, so that's like two more fights. Uh, I hope Ghastly gets a good move soon. Level 7, uh, boy. Is the last one level 7? The last one was level 4. Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm going to die. Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. That's cool. Azuril's still normal type, right? Yeah. It's not fairy. Yet. Actually, when it becomes fairy type, doesn't it become normal fairy? So, I still wouldn't be able to do shit against it. Um... But I think it's just normal type right now. Let's get... Let's get Golit out there. Especially this... Well, wait. Are you fucking kidding me, Reap? And I put Modest Nature on it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate everything. I hate all my life choices up to this moment. Well, okay. Does Curse affect normal types? Does Curse affect normal types? That's the big question. Because I can use that. I can use that against them. If it does. I, I feel like curse works against normal types. Yeah, but... You know, I mean, yeah, that's true. But it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And confuse rate could work too. I just have to get really lucky. Uh, Parish on here's a Sonic punches, Sable skin. I mean, the only ones I can think of, well, yeah, Psy Wave would be decent, yeah, at this point, I guess. Clear Smog is the only good one I can think of, though, besides the punches. Like, even though it's not that good, but I think I get Stab off of it. Why am I now running into all the normal types? Before I had Mary, I think Psyduck's wild in this area too. Haha, -ha, bitch. This just in. Use a bitch. It's trying. It's trying its hardest. Alright, so I guess I just have to survive until I get cursed then. Ugh. Well, even then, it's... I'm trying to think. Because... This is only a problem for normal types, which, once we get past early game, won't be nearly as much of a problem, I feel. So, even now it's not that bad, at least against trainers, because we that one trainer had a Swaddle. And what else did she have? No, she had, 
he had Purloin, which is a dark type, which at least I can hit dark types. Just not very hard. So she had Purloin and Sawaddle. It's better than most Pokemon games that throw normal type after normal type after normal type at you at the start. I don't think we're ready to face this guy. I think we have to fight him, right? Oh, okay, we don't fight him. Right. Yeah, I was about to mention that thing about TMs being reusable. Since we just got frustration. Not that that helps. I, actually, PKX wanted me to put their, um... Wanted me to put all my Pokemon's happiness at zero to start with but i put i said them on the 70 which i think is the default value right so if i'd send the zero frustration would be kind of cool on like gold or something at least at first why is it that they don't fight any wild pokemon when they go through the grass it's only us that's true but it would be cool to start with since they originally wanted me to put him at zero. But I didn't, so it's moot anyway. Oh, you're not gonna heal us anymore? Okay, bitch. Is there an item over here? No, okay. What does Round do again? Is Round the one that, um... What does Round do? That I, I think, I think... I always get confused with Echoed Voice's effect. Echoed Voice powers up the more you use it in a row, right? Kind of like the metronome item. Okay, yeah. I mean, 60 base power isn't awful. If I get it early game, I might use it for a little bit, but... Like, it's probably not worth it if I get it later in the game. I mean, since there are triple battles in this game, it'd be cool to, like... I think there are triple battles in... I know triple battles are in Gen 5, but... I think most of the triple battles... It's like, there aren't a lot of them. All right, so we're gonna be fighting. <sighs> Pardon me, we're gonna be fighting Pansir and Panpour, right? I don't know what order though. We'll probably be fighting Panpour first, since I chose Snivy as my starter. I hope the game doesn't freeze up here. Come to think of it, since I don't have Snivy anymore. Like I said, it did that weird thing. With the, um, the, what's it called? The, um, okay, I'll show you. I, I can't replicate it now that I fixed it, but, oh, well, that sucks. Um, but, like, all the Pokemon except for Ghastly, instead of their front sprites, like, instead of this sprite showing, it showed their sprite as if they were in battle on our side, their back sprites. Which was really weird. I don't know how that happened, why it happened, but don't they switch around if you tap them? Do they? Hold on. They do! But it was like that from the start. Oh, and now it's staying like that. Okay. Huh. I legit did not know that, Reap. I'm sure I did at one point, but... Cause I played this game a lot back in the day, but remember, I haven't played Black and White and Black Two and White Two in forever. It's been at least it's probably been like three or four years since I last played this. For real, anyway, like a real playthrough instead of like playing it and then getting bored with it after not even the first gym. So.
Alright, well, this might be a good opportunity to... So they don't have little pups and shit, which I think they might now that I think about it. What the hell? What's back here? What? I don't remember this. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save before I go back here. I legit do not remember this area. Is this just an extension of the farm? I thought it was the other way around because I seem to remember doing triple battles in black. What is this? What's back here? I'm not gonna bother. I do not remember this being back here. No, but seriously, what is that area back there? I don't remember that being a thing. I don't remember that being a thing at all. This is some... This is some creepy pasta shit right here. I don't think I'm gonna go back there. I, I might look it up on Bulbapedia after the stream. Or Cerebi or something. That's weird. That's really weird, actually. I find it weird that I don't remember that area at all. Alright, so... I think since we're facing the monkeys in here, this will be a good opportunity to use Ghastly. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna pay poor first. Okay. Level 9. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Nice. I don't remember that having a good paralysis infliction rate, but whatever. God. Okay, I'm suddenly faster. I will not be able to take another one of those. Let's switch. Uh, I've, I don't remember if ground types can be paralyzed this gen. I guess we'll find out. Except this thing has water gun too, doesn't it? Okay, nice. That was convenient. Oh, that was Pledge Grove? The name sounds familiar. That that has something to do with Keldeo, doesn't it? Ugh. Right, I think I do know this area now. Right. Ugh. Disgusting. Is it, was it always open like that, though? Because I don't remember that being open unless you actually did the event. Which I have not done the event here. So... I have no idea. Oh, thank God, we get healed. I am horribly underleveled. Reap, it's not Halloween, it's New Year's. Get the holiday right. Oh, you got mean look. I didn't realize I got that. Okay. Must have just gotten that. Yeah. 
Nice. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You did it, you fucker. All right, guess we're switching again. Um. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah. Come the fuck on. All right, we're just going to let Golik go down. <laughs> All right, that's the first faint. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. God forbid I do a Nuzlocke. I respect the people who do Nuzlocke's, but like, I can never do it. I can never do it. <laughs> it's not it's like the worst of the monkeys too it's like the worst of the monkeys too i think either pansier or simisier <laughs> uh pansier or simisier one of the two was voted like least popular pokemon like out of all of them Oh, this guy! This was one of my favorite parts about Black 2 and White 2. Too bad most of the medals you can't get any. Well, actually, that's not true. Because I think this... This version of the game I'm using, let's just say that, uh, does allow for Wi-Fi if you can get it set up properly. Even though they, they turn Nintendo Wi-Fi connection off. Nice. Oh, man. God, medals. I remember those. Remember medals? God, that was... I tried to get them all. I failed miserably, but I tried. Oh, right, I guess it's time for Sharon, huh? Oh, this'll be fun. This'll be fun. My team of ghost types, including a gas that I can't hit any of my opponents. It's oddly enough my highest level right now, besides Litwick. And, well, tied with Litwick. Oh, this'll be fun. I haven't even touched Drifloon at all. All right, we're gonna go do a little bit of grinding, though, because, like... I don't think I see a chance the way I am right now. Reap, can you do me a favor? Uh, look up Sharon's levels for me in this game. I just want to know what his highest level is so I can prepare accordingly. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's the heater. Is there a red candy over here? Nah, it's a Pokeball. I knew there was a hidden item over there. I just couldn't couldn't remember what it was. Will you heal me now? I guess, I guess that's a yes. It's just that I'm at full health. Boop, 
boop, boop. Who's this? Is this one? This isn't one of the doctors. Oh no, this is janitor. That's right. I forgot about this class. Trainer class. Huh. I think this is the guy that has the Psyduck. I thought it was 10 and 12, but I might be wrong. Now this was like, the, the pole I'm talking about was a big pole like in Japan, I think. I think Sim is here, Pants here, whichever one it was that was lowest, got some votes. But it's got the least amount of votes. But this is also before Gen 8 came out. Maybe even before Gen 7 came out, I don't know. Alright, um, do, it's just spear Tim. need to level you up too, might as well kill two birds with one stone, make them both ghosts. Oh, well that's okay, I guess. Thank you, super high defenses. Does Odor Sleuth wear off after a certain amount of turns? I don't think it does, right? Oh, this guy doesn't have side up. He's got married. Um, let's do this. Only after a switch. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Eleven and thirteen. Wow, you were way off. We were both wrong. 11 and 13. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be grinding for a while. <laughs> Actually, I've never played easy mode in um, Black Toon Way 2. Doesn't that require... I think that requires White 2 to be beaten, right? And I... I beat white 2 after being black 2, so I figured, like, what's the point of the easy mode key when I've already beaten both of the games? Like, actually, I think I might have played white 2 on challenge mode, or at least I tried. Maybe. I don't remember. I think I tried it once. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, what I did was the, um... Okay, what I did was... Blaze Black 2 or Volt White 2 or whatever, which gives each gym leader six Pokemon. That's what I did. That's a ROM hack. A damn good one, too. Alrighty. Mm. Why no challenge mode? I'm actually not sure how to enable it. Because, um... With PK Hex, I mean. I don't know how to enable it. And besides, I figured this monotype run... Like, all these monotype runs are gonna be a challenge enough since I'm using the same type every time. I would have at least considered it though if I fi could figure out how to enable it in PK Hex. Oh, they don't get a full team of six in challenge mode? I thought they did.
I, I don't know why I thought the uh, full team of six. I think that's challenge mode in um, Blaze Black 2 and Volt Wade 2. Because I don't think the default... I don't think the default mode gives all gym leaders six Pokemon in those ROM hacks. I mean, it's challenge mode, Reap. It would make sense, like, if you really want to challenge. I think that's why Blaze Black 2 and Volt White 2 did it. I don't remember much about um, those ROM hacks, though. Those, it's been years since I played them. The same guy later made a Heart Gold Soul Silver mod that was really cool. Uh, I forget what it's called. Sacred Gold and Storm Silver or something. Is this Spear Tomb? Oh, you get Feign Attack already? Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> that would be that would be cool, Reap. Um, I'll get rid of Pursuit because like it's not like people ever switch out in this game unless you're playing competitively. Real talk though, they should buff Pursuit. Give it 60 base power, make it so that it only deals 1.5 times the damage when um when there's a swap. Because even then, it's still more powerful than Pursuit now. Because, like, 90 base power after swap instead of 80. Okay, yeah, this is the guy that has Psyduck. But, yeah, like, that would be cool. I think more people would use Pursuit then. Because I think Pursuit's already kind of a popular moving comp, or it was at some point. Since more people switch in competitive play than in the main game, but like, I don't know. I still feel like I'd rather use something like Dark Pulse, since that's got just so much power all the time. That's just my two cents. I don't play competitive much, but. I mean, I knew that, Reap. Remember, I have played this game before. Just not in a long time. And, like... It's a Pokemon game that's been out for how long? Like, seven years at this point? I think the thing said 2012 at the beginning like with the copyright actually i guess that's closer to eight years now huh it's almost 2020 god it's gonna be tough going into 2020 and still writing down 2019 on everything because i'm just used to it let's save I think that's all the trainers here, so. Hmm. Honestly, I think we might be able to make do with Spear Tomb for the first gym. If I can just level it up a little bit more. I mean, what with Fiend Attack and it's really high defenses. And the fact that I think some of the Pokemon in that gym have Bite. Because, like, Lillipops and Patrats and all that. But with Spirit Tomb, as a dark type with its secondary typing, it'll just take normal damage. So, I think we should focus on Spirit Tomb. I don't want to rely on Spirit Tomb because, like, I was considering making it so that, um, I can't use one Sagers like Spirit Tomb and Skarmory, but by the time I considered that, I already had, like, four of them on various teams four or five of them on like one on each team and i'm like be a pain in the ass to find replacements for them so you know uh okay why am i going back here oh well I can level up Spirit Tomb at the gym.
Not in terms of base stat total, at least in this game. Maybe once this Mega Evolution comes around. Even then, I don't think he gets Mega until post-game. In X and Y, at least. Wait, no, it's not even a Mega Evolution in X and Y, is it? It's an Aorus, that's right. Ah, Orin Berries, that might help. How many did we get? I think we got three, right? That would make sense. Yeah, yeah, no one cares, Alder. Let's see how many of those we got. I thought my game was going to freeze up there. It didn't look... Oh, we got five! Nice. Nice. I like that. I just realized... Oh, no, no, grinding's gonna be a pain in the ass. Actually, no, it won't, because by the time we get to it, like, I've got Fane Attack on Spirit Tomb already, so I can hit stuff. So. But, oh, boy. Actually, Fane, the auto grinding will be easier since I'll be immune to most of its moves. All right, so you said Sharon has 11 and 13, okay. Ah yes, the fresh water. I always made sure to get this from him every time, even once fresh water kind of starts falling off. No. Fun fact though, Reap, I didn't tell you this, but in my Heart Gold Mono Ghost run, I had planned on using Shedinja because I had literally no other options. So glad I decided to switch to Black 2 now. But yeah, it was gonna be a surprise. Like, I was gonna start it up and you were gonna be like, why isn't Ninkata there? And I'm gonna be like, because I'm gonna be using Shedinja. You would have been like, nice. But. Alas, it was not meant to be. I want to fight you now. We just don't know. It is a mystery. Oh no, this is where they get bite. So when's the green stream? Huh? Oh, Pokemon Green? Never. So sorry. Except not really. Not really sorry. I thought that was nine A's for a second there, and I'm like, you're breaking habit, but it was eight. Had to had to double check there. Nice.
All right, I'm clearly not going to be ready for this. Okay, so another question I have about Odor Sleuth. I actually don't remember if the little pup used it in the first round. I wasn't really paying attention. But if a Pokemon uses Odor Sleuth and then it faints, and the next Pokemon comes in, is Odor Sleuth still in effect? Or does it go away? Like, do I have to switch out in order for it to go away, or can I just KO the opponent? Oh, well. I guess that answers that then. Glad to see the game decide to answer my question for me. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh. Almost at level 10. Almost. Alright, we're gonna need to... Ugh. I don't know if I can do it at my current level. I'll check in a second to see what my levels are. <laughs> the biggest problem. Because the normal types get stab off of tackles and stuff. My ghosts, most of my ghost boys are frail. Ghost gals, I should say. Let's look at this. Didn't realize I was making them all female. But, uh... Except Golit, who has no gender. Yeah, we are not ready for this. Unless I get lucky with a Litwick burn. And me and the lass is trying to beat up a dog. <laughs> I like that. I like that. We're going to get you up to level 10, Spear Tomb. Uh, of course. Still, this should be enough, hopefully. Oh, fun. There we go. Do you learn anything here? Nope. All right, we're gonna try this. Almost tipped my chair over. That wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> Very much so, Reap. You know that I usually go out of my way to catch a Riolu in this game, even though they're really rare? Like, I catch a Riolu in uh, the farm, the, the ranch just for this first gym and then I always make sure to evolve it by the second gym just for the steel typing so I'm immune I almost always do that it's gonna feel weird not to do that this time around All right, we're not giving them all, all the berries here. This, just in case I lose, I'll still have some. I healed, right? I think I did. I mean, I was at full health anyway, but. <laughs> oh yeah, my power points are full. <laughs>
All right. Let's let's begin eternal suffering. This is hard mode. God, why do they have to give? Why do they have to give most of the normal types odor sleuth in this game? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm gonna die horribly. <laughs> oh wow, I took off half more than half of his health. Oh no. Not the crits. Anything but the crits. All right, you guys ready for my amazing strategy? Oh, okay. I guess that won't work the way I wanted it to. I was hoping it would use work up and then I confuse and it just deals more damage to itself. But okay. I'm gonna get Yep, there it is. I I think if I get crit here, I'm dead, so we're not even gonna risk that. Don't use other sleuth. Oh, it's using work up, this is worse. So I since it snapped out of its confusion already. Oh, this is high risk, high reward gameplay right here. Uh, I think this thing's pretty fast too. So if Spear Team goes down, I am, I'm fucked. No way around it. My only priority is Shadow Sneak, which doesn't affect it, and is on Spear Team. Oh no! Stop! Please stop! <laughs> ah! I don't like this anymore. Come on, one more. I just need to get one more off. No! Oh! 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 You're going for the full sweep. Come on, this has to kill. This has to kill. This has to kill. This has to kill. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. Yes! Dog literally do angry to attack. Ah, <laughs> oh, that felt good. That, that. That was good. That was good. Mm. <laughs> it was going for the full sweep and if it had gotten that attack off it it would have I, I would have been screwed Hmm, mm. all right. If he attacked you then instead of just buffing itself and Well considering it had three attack boosts up even if I hadn't, even if I hadn't, uh, fainted to that attack, I could have flinched. And if I had flinched, then I really would have been fucked. Because I'd either have to heal and then just get hit again, or... Uh, sometimes I'm glad that the, uh, the AI in this game is so stupid. Ah, uh, yes. The opposite of frustration. Tepic 9000 IQ. <laughs> Oh, 
32.5D chest. <laughs> okay. I don't even know if that's possible, but... Ah yes, the sea gear. It's pretty much pointless now. Oh, I wasn't even talking about the fact that I was a fraction. I'm just like 32 dimensions. That doesn't seem like a thing. I mean, maybe it is a thing and we just can't even process it because we're stuck in our lousy third dimension or whatever. Alright, well... Definitely saving after all that. I'm actually having a really good time with this run, like, holy crap. I mean, yeah, I definitely, but like, going 32, that, that seems, that seems a bit, seems a bit too much. Seems like it goes a bit too far. Alright, what's next? Uh, the Poison Gym? That should be a lot easier. God, I wish I had the EXP share. Level two. Not worth my time. <sighs> oh shit, it's Riolu. Oh, 
Oh no, Foresight, isn't that just Odor Sleuth, but different, like, different names, same effect? Oh no, I am... I am not having a good time right now. Oh my Jesus. Oh, thank God. About time I got that. Well, so much for that speed drop. Uh. Lisa's not a normal type. Would Psywave even be considered super effective though? Isn't that the one that deals fixed, da not fixed damage, but like randomized damage? I don't think Psy Wave is super effective against fighting and poison types though, right? Unless I'm thinking of a different move. Oh, fuck you! Oh, I can't believe I survived the one HP there. Oh, that would have been handy like five seconds ago. Yeah, barely. Time to go heal. Where do you get the bike again? Ah, shit. That's not until Nimbasa. Not until Nimbasa. Uh, we're gonna be like halfway through the game before we get the bike almost. That'll be fun. I guess I have speed up, but this. I can't speed it up much. So. Yeah, I seem to remember hearing something about Psywave. Mm, excuse me. About Psywave being like that. Like back in Gen 1. Some glitch or, not glitch, but like, some weird thing associated with it. I did heal, right? I know I went in there. Yeah, okay. Oh, it was a glitch? Okay. Yeah, I can see why that would be an issue. Like, you'd have two different HP values, right? Poten potentially, most likely. More than likely, yeah. God. Game Freak really couldn't make a... a... They, they, they made good games. Not so much anymore. I mean, Sword was alright, but... I enjoyed Sword. But... By Pokemon standards, it really wasn't that good. But, like, they could make a good game, but they couldn't make a good coded game. Like, a, a well coded game. God, it was just spaghetti code all over the place. 
All right, this could actually be a good opportunity. Um, Creep ball. Not that that's gonna be helpful. Level one. Oh right, because there weren't any level ones back in Gen One. Since. Well, actually, there weren't even any eggs back in Gen 1, but, like, eggs will always hatch at level 5 before Gen 4. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there goes my Warrenberry. Ugh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Well, at least I burned it. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since I got home from work. Like, I got home at around 7.30. 7.20, actually. And I... immediately started preparing for the stream. And then I started streaming at 8. So, we're gonna switch games soon to Epic Battle Fantasy V. Some point soon. And when we do, I think I might take a tiny break to go get food. And then I'll be back, like, might, might be five minutes, if that. But that won't be for another couple of minutes anyway. Oh, great. Fun. Does Bubble still have 20 power, or is this when they buffed it? Oh, it's still got 20 power. Why am I using it? I mean, I guess it gets stabbed and over absorb. But, like, it's also being split up amongst the two Pokemon. God, I didn't realize that. I thought, I'd... didn't they buff it to 40 power eventually? To put it on par with Water Gun, since some starters get Bubble and some get Water Gun. Gen 6? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That, that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, I guess. I suppose. It definitely did deserve a buff, but maybe not up to 40 power, maybe like 30. Oh, right, that won't actually work. Oh, 
Oh, the grinding is gonna take forever at this rate. This is it, guys. This is Metal Gear Solid 6. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Quote from someone who has never played a single Metal Gear Solid game. Literally, all I know about Metal Gear is from uh, Smash. So, since Snake was in Brawl and Ultimate. Then that's it. That, that's it. I don't know anything else. Are you serious? I don't remember that. Is that one of the Battle Frontier Tutor moves? I mean, I guess if you traded Chansey over or something. Actually, wait, let's get Golit. Cleffa can learn it, that's weird. Why only Cleffa and not Clefairy or Cleffa Ball? Oh, the lines, okay. All oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even realize Blissey. I forgot Blissey existed for a second there. I don't know how, but I did. Does this thing not have water gun yet? I'm surprised it hasn't used water gun. Ghost types just kind of break this game, the early game. Oh, there it is. Oh no. This needs to kill. This needs to kill right now. Yeah, I knew about that. I knew about softball being a TM in Gen 1. Roll out. Alright. I'll bite. We'll keep defense curl too. Since defense curl rollout is apparently a deadly combo. Um. I'll get rid of mud slap. Even though I get stabbed from it. I think I made golet adamant. Wait, no. Yeah, I did make golet adamant. Not brave. Yeah, I made golet adamant. So mud slap is going to be piss poor. Accuracy lowering is always nice, but eh. Alright. Um, let's save, definitely. Alrighty. Uh... So what do you say we call it here for Pokemon and switch over to Epic Battle Fantasy V? But what do you think, Reap? Should we switch over? We're going to at some point. Why do I keep saving? Because I, because I have OCD, that's why. Alright. Um... Very true, very true. Although, it might be, I'm trying to think, it might be a little early, because then I'd have to play it for a little over two hours. I haven't even played this for two hours yet, it's been like an hour and a half. But, 
at the same time, I'm very hungry. Switching games would provide a great, um, a great point, like a great point in time to, you know, get food, take a break, all that. One more save for the road, I guess. All right. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to close out of this now and hope that everything's saved properly. All right. Um So I'm actually going to be right back while I grab food. Um Would I really lose anything? Yeah. If it didn't save properly, I'd lose all that all all the way up to the first gym that I did. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was like me failing at everything for an hour over. Because, I mean, I did get that first gym badge, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to switch to the BRB screen here. There we go. Alright, I will be back in a few minutes.